Hey, it's Casey Cole Corbin. I'm doing some experimentation today. I have uh, received by uh, gift a whole bunch of colorant, which is the really thick goo that they put into a uh, that they tint paint with. And I've also received some um, untinted paint. And so I'm playing around, and I have actually some exterior and some interior. I'm not sure exactly how it's going to work out, but I've been this one I've mixed with um, um, mixed the paint up and then put some Floetrol in, and that's the interior and that's the exterior version. And I've used some of the colorant to tint um, both an exterior and an interior version of this. And so I'm planning on doing a little bit of experimentation, and I do want to see how the um, uh, our additives work in it, so I will put a squirt of dimethicone into each one of these colors here and stir that up. This is a uh, obviously very unsuccessful piece. This is actually the last piece that I did of doing pouring art before I found out about what everyone on this page is teaching about additives such as dimethicone the methcone and Floetrol and pouring medium and I've actually, I actually did for five years I did paint like this with um, obviously some really boring results so I'm gonna try just kind of see kind of a side-by-side -side comparison here these are the whites interior on this side exterior on this side and see how they do differently how they are affected differently see here I got a little blue line here in that that's um uh, where I didn't start very well I have some interesting capsules here that I'm going to use just for fun for um, a dirty pour using the same materials just experimenting well that's interesting and this looks like a test tube it's kind of staying in its place that's kind of interesting Since it has a lid, I might give it a little bit of a few tilts in here. Somersault, maybe. Maybe two. Let's see what it's going to do. And, of course, it is sealed on me. Well, that is comical. said these are only for opening cans of paint. So we'll do a dirty pour here in the middle. Alright. The methicone is acting pretty good. Getting me some cells. And uh, please comment if you know of any reason why not to use exterior paint. I know it has a smell that I don't really care for. So it's, I'm out in my outside studio, my shed, instead of working inside today. But I was thinking, and I haven't really done the research yet, that maybe it has some UV protection since it's outside paint. That would make sense, wouldn't it? 
And so if that's case, if that's the case, it would save me a step. It kind of speaks into the the fight we usually have on that last corner, how it gets hung up here and doesn't want to go there. So we uh always have to fight it a bit to get it into that last corner. But since this is just an experiment. I'm not super concerned about that. In fact, I might even play with it a little bit with the straw. Why are people using cans of paint? That was uh, cans of air. And that would be great. But I would imagine, for me, it would come out too fast, so I'm not sure what it would do. I like the straw effect because it does create a thinner layer and some better blending and so you usually get some more action with the cells. So I revealed a whole layer there, I didn't know it was there. Get a little oceany waves, it's always nice. I think it's kind of fun. So you can enjoy the experience of hyperventilating. It's always good. But all I can do without um, needing to take a break. So if I leave it this way, I'm going to have some interesting, more distinct colors here. And I am digging some of these colors. It kind of reminds me of um, those uh, plates that um, people like to collect. Kind of old-timey. I'm sure there's a name for them. Again, maybe you can comment on what the name of those plates are. something kind of interesting there. I do like that I can control how bold the colors are, how light the colors are, but I will tell you that ironically I thought I was putting exactly the same amount of the um, colorant into both the exterior and the interior. And so one of the things that might make a difference that I could really use some understanding on, maybe you could help me with, is um, that the interior is a um, from Ace, it's Sensations with Scotch Guard. It says stains wash right off, and it says it's a matte, flat enamel interior premium acrylic latex. And then the code for it is 140A100, which is a high hiding white. And so I'm not sure that I'm looking for the base the type of base this is. Not readily seeing that. The other one does say the ex the exterior is a deep tone base. And so, ironically, I am getting a deeper tone in that. So I really don't know what that means. So I could use some education on that. Somebody could help me understand the difference in bases that the hardware store uses to cre be able to create certain colors. I bet you Fiona will know. Fiona knows an awful lot of things, and so she, she'll probably speak into that. I'll look forward to that, Fiona, if you'll talk to me about that. Well, I'm just going to finish blowing this. Um, uh, and so you, you, if you want to tune, if you want to turn off the video now, I've probably finished sharing about everything that I'm going to share on here and probably just have similar results over here but um, for I will keep the video going so you can see my bald head blowing this thing if you want to but uh, now would be a really good time to turn off this video if you want although I just remembered that I would like to test it and see how it flames or how it torches so I might pause now and do that. 
Just came back from teaching this art form to a youth camp. My wife has a ministry to inner city kids. And so I uh, posted a, a video or two and some pictures about that uh, recently. And so perhaps you've seen that. That was really fun to do. Really fun to show kids something. It's, and it, it always amazes me whenever you teach a, a little class is, is that um, the person who seems to be like um, uh, the most apprehensive, maybe even intimidated, or they're the ones who verbalize, oh, arts and crafts, or some kind of snarky remark like that, um, is always the same person that um, is the one that sticks around the longest. <laughs> the ones that <laughs> are the ones that are like, no, I need, I need five more minutes to finish this up. So. Um, <laughs> that kind of always cracks me up. Uh, just ran out of propane. Mm. Propane smells good. Let's set this outside. I might leave my door open. new tank ready. And again, this video is getting pretty boring, so now would be a good time to turn off if you don't want to see this torched. Not very torchable. Got some cool stuff. doorway actually. Pardon the noise, but the fan's now on high. Probably nothing more to hear. Get this fumes away from me. But boy, we got some cool stuff going on there. I'm digging that. This is getting blown here and not too much. We're getting kind of thinner there. Don't know how movable this is, but since this is an experiment, an opportunity to stretch out some of the cells. And I've already broke the water tension, or paint tension if there is something called that. So it is flowing towards that corner probably a little better than if I hadn't moved some of the paint there. It would be hysterical if I just passed out and you saw me just kind of flop face first into this painting right here because I feel like that was pretty close. That was pretty close to happening. Never smoked either. Alright. Well, for an experiment, I'm just liking an awful lot of what I'm seeing in here. Interesting. Well, 
Hope you enjoyed that. I'll be curious to see how things turn out.